Welcome to Ireland and the wild Atlantic Way. Stretching 2,500 kilometers, this wild road trip has it all. And for this video, we're taking you with us as we explore the forests, mountains, and mystical islands along the Ring of Kerry. If you're new around here, I'm Jack, this is Joe, and that fluff ball there is our co-pilot, Frank. We love nature and have spent the past two years traveling to wild corners of the UK and Europe in this, our tiny home on wheels. This is part two of our wild Atlantic Way adventure. So put your feet up, click subscribe, and come along for these wild journeys on the Ring of Kerry. Ready? All locked up? We'll find out. <laughs> Onwards to Killarney National Park. Killarney. Kill Arnie. Killarney? Killarney. It's gonna be a good day. Hopefully. What do you mean hopefully? <laughs> <laughs> Positivity Joe, it's gonna be a good day. The Ring of Kerry is famously known as a popular road trip spot. So along the way into Killarney National Park, one of its main attractions, you have plenty of pull-ins and lay-bys to park into and admire the view from, like here at Ladies View. Man, she knows how to close the door. So the walk we're doing is called the Talk Mountain Trail. Um, there's also a waterfall, which we'll go see later. We did originally want to climb Caratoon Hill, um, which is Ireland's highest peak, but no dogs are allowed. Um, apparently local landowners just don't want dogs on the land um, in case they like ch <laughs> chase they, in case they frighten the sheep. So this is second best, but I have heard that this is a really awesome walk and it's half the elevation as the other one. So we started a bit late this afternoon. Um, so actually it's worked out quite well. And it's lovely and green. Again, island man, it's just so green and fresh. So we found the hike up to the mountain and it's laid with like some boardwalk so that you don't trample, I guess, the peat bog. Whoa. Yeah, really cool actually. It's like railway sleepers, I think. Yeah. Awesome views. Crazy actually. Doing good? A bit warm. A bit, warm, a bit sweaty. Have, have absolutely <laughs> it's a technical term for hiking, I think, hooning. Up and up we went, with each step giving us even more incredible views across the Kerry landscape. That's your own food you can smell. After enjoying the views from the summit, out towards the Ring of Kerry and the Reeks, Ireland's highest mountain range, we headed back down the mountain just as the weather started to change. Morning. We're up early this morning. Um, we're walking down to the waterfall. We actually came here after our hike up the, up the mountain, but it's quite busy. So we thought, as soon as we're gonna stay close to here, might as well see what it's like early in the morning and see if we can have it at least to ourselves or just a few people. It's not so early, it's seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I don't think Joe's been up this early. Maybe a year? <laughs> Apart from maybe like a ferry that we've had to catch. Yeah, but even then, I probably had a little sleep. <laughs> Now it'd be good. It's a nice, like, still morning. I thought it was going to be raining, but it's actually okay.
definitely worth getting up early to have the place to yourself. So there's actually a thing called temperate rainforests um, and there's actually loads in the UK and Ireland and a lot across the north of uh, France but quite a lot of it's now been cut down or kind of gone and you can tell if there's like moss on the trees it's like a humid environment and there's ferns growing off uh, tree branches which there are around here but yeah we cut quite a lot of them down but this is really nice it's like a national park where it's all being conserved but there needs more of these trees and more of these rainforests Right, back on the road, back on the Wild Atlantic Way. Um, we've driven back down towards, back down south to start the Ring of Kerry drive. We did this a little bit backwards, but it's because yesterday was probably the clearest day for views, which is why we wanted to do that mountain hike. But now we're back onto the Ring of Kerry, which apparently is supposed to be a beautiful um, drive along the coast um, and along the Kerry Peninsula. Um, we've got a couple of cool stuff planned. There's some really nice, lovely beaches that we've seen pictures of. And tomorrow we're also going to be taking in a boat ride at a really cool island. But we're going to hope that the weather stays a bit like this, um, but we'll see. We set off on our drive around the Ring of Kerry, where we're enjoying watching the Irish coastline dip in and out of view as we climb mountain and cliff passes. In the distance, you can see the Skellig Islands, which we plan to visit the next day. But then, as we pulled up to a viewpoint, we hit what we thought would be a temporary cloud. But Ireland and its weather had other ideas. We didn't see the sun or have decent visibility for the next 24 hours. We've got some good news. The sun's come out, like really come out. It's proper blued up. The sea looks a bit calmer. Our boat trip is hopefully going away, going ahead. Um, the views from up here with the mist gone are amazing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head to Port McGee, um, which is the little port town that our boat goes from. Um, and the boat goes to the Skellig Islands, which um, you can probably see in the distance. Um, and they look awesome. They're actually from Star Wars, if you ever watched that. You have to book like months in advance to get a spot to land but we obviously didn't do that and plus it's like super expensive like 120 euros each but we paid for a boat trip which i think was like 50 euros each frank can go on the boat and yeah really excited it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day um lots of like nature bird watching opportunities um and you can see the islands from fairly close up you just can't go onto it so yeah sounds awesome let's get to it We booked our tickets through Skellig Michael Cruises, one of a few boat companies who allowed dogs on board. Because it's obviously critical that Frank came along for the ride. Boarding our boat, we sailed across choppy seas towards the Skelligs, which sit just under 12 kilometers away from the shore. We just about avoided the worst symptoms of seasickness during the hour crossing, and we arrived at Lesser Skellig, home to the second largest gannet population in the world. During the spring and summer, 35,000 breeding pairs of gannets live on this rocky outcrop. The noise and the smell was incredible. There's a lot of bird poop. Some days it's said to resemble snow-capped peaks from a distance. Moving on from Lesser Skellig, we get to the famous island of Skellig Michael. As well as being a film location for two Star Wars films, this isolated rocky outcrop was home for 600 years to hermit monks during the early Middle Ages. They would come here to live and worship, where they carved steps all the way to the top where they lived in rocky beehive huts. Given the weather we'd experienced over the past 24 hours, having a presence on the island for that long out here with primitive technology was pretty impressive in our books. Awesome day out to the Skelligs, awesome day out at sea. And it's really, really nice to be able to see stuff again um, and not have a shroud of mist surrounding us. We're gonna drive onto our camp spot. Um, and just the views along this road are amazing. It's only a little drive, it's like 10, 14 kilometers, but look at it.
It rained again, but luckily for us, this time it coincided with our working week. We hunkered down on the campsite before we sought out some beautiful cliff views and the beach to stretch the legs in between the inclement weather. morning the sun has finally come out uh, we've been parked up here for two days probably our best favorite park up so far in Ireland um, it's run on a donation box we just did a tenner a night because it's that good I'm now gonna drive over over there we're gonna finish the ring of Kerry today after kind of four days of not so great weather and we're gonna drive over to Dingle and a lovely little beach which we can see from over here let's get to it eh Frank <laughs> A nice little Guinness. What did you have, Joe? A nice refreshment stop. We come to this beach, which is called Inch Beach. But Joe, do you joke? It's called Inch Beach, but it's called Mile Beach. <laughs> it's massive. It's huge, and you can actually drive onto the beach, um, which is right next to the campsite. So we might do that tomorrow morning. But pretty cool. And long overdue for a nice little beach day with some nice weather. We're going to start our Dingle adventure tomorrow. So I think we'll stop, we'll end our Kerry video here. Yeah. Yeah, because there's just going to be so much to do in Dingle that makes sense to fit into. So thanks for watching and we'll catch us in Dingle the next adventure. Bye. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, chuck us a thumbs up. It helps get this video shared further. And stay tuned for next time where we seek out dolphins, beaches and more mountain views in Dingle. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the